but you guys can do it. First thing I want you guys to remember is, again, anytime you see a square root and you're talking about the zeros, you have to make sure you include this conjugate. So therefore, we have 1 minus the square root of 3 is also a 0. Okay. Again, without falling asleep, what we'll do is we'll set them each equal to 0. x equals 1, x equals 1 plus the square root of 3, and x equals 1 minus the square root of 3. Is everybody following me that I'm doing the exact same thing three times in a row? Find the zeros, set them equal to 0, or set them equal to x. And then what we do, we set them equal to 0. So minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus square root of 3, minus square root of 3. Just to notice that I didn't give it to you, so I'm just saying, hey, make sure whenever you're provided a square root, you have to include the conjugate. Oh, I thought that was for imaginary. It is for imaginary, and it's for irrational as well. Okay. okay, does everybody see how I set them all equal to zero? Notice how here I had to subtract one and subtract the square root of three. Here I had to subtract one and add the square root of three. Okay, now that I have them all equal to zero, I have this, x minus 1 times x minus 1 minus square root of 3 times x minus 1 plus the square root of 3. Okay, now, if you guys want to multiply these out, please feel free to do that. There's nothing wrong with multiplying these out as trinomials. So you could do this if you wanted to. Create a trinomial and do x minus 1 minus square root of 3, x minus 1 plus square root of 3. But I will give you guys a little bit of a um, shortcut. What I notice is I can group the x minus 1's together. If I group these x minus 1's, I can say this is a minus b, and that's a plus b, where a is equal to x minus 1, and b is equal to the square root of 3. Does everybody kind of see that little thing? And again, if this is like way over your head, you can just multiply them out. Don't worry about it. But all it did is I just grouped them, because there's three terms here. And I don't really want to multiply three terms, especially when I'm sleeping. So what I would do is, if I group them like this, now I would have x minus 1. Difference of two squares tells me just multiply the first two terms and the last two terms, because the middle terms will divide out. So x minus 1 times x minus 1 is? x minus 1 squared. Square root of 3, negative square root of 3 times positive square root of 3 is negative 3. What's nice about this is not only are difference of squares easy, but so are binomials. Binomial squared are really easy to figure out. This becomes x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 3. And then what you guys can see is now I have, I'm only going to do the box method once. So I'll have my binomial times my trinomial. So I'll say this is x minus 1, and this is x squared plus x squared minus 2x. And that becomes minus 2, 1 minus 3. So now we just multiply everything out x cubed minus 2x squared minus 2x minus x squared plus 2x plus 2. Those cancel out. Those combine. And my final answer is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. This will be on your quiz. It will be on your test. So I hope you guys are paying attention. Why don't we go ahead and give a shot on your homework.